Oh my god, there's another one. Hey everyone, I'm Bennett. I'm Dawn. And this is Living My Alaska, and we are 900 miles from west of Anchorage in the beautiful island of Dutch Harbor, Alaska on the Aleutian Chain in the Pacific Ocean. Sea is angry today, and this is Prayer Rock. We're going hiking, we're going sightseeing. We're going to show you a very exclusive look inside the locals' fantastic museums on this really remote, really exotic place of Dutch Harbor. It starts now on Living My Alaska. We're touring what they call Glass Beach on the island of Dutch Harbor, and we're doing what my wife loves to do most. She loves to walk this beach at low tide and look for beach glass. Beach glass is little pieces of glass that float in from all over the world. The salt water and the sand and the tide and the oceans and the weather here shine up those beautiful little pieces of glass. We're going to spend quite a bit of time in Dutch Harbor over the next uh, months and years because the boss lady back there has just taken an assignment here to help them manage the healthcare facility facility here. And Dutch Harbor is of course famous for fishing. This is one of the largest and most productive fisheries in North America. Dutch Harbor is famous for one very, very, very popular TV show called The Deadliest Catch about the crab boat fishermen in Alaska. And in the summertime, the month of July, it is absolutely gorgeous, rich, blue, and green all across the mountainside. So we're going to do some beach combing. I'll let you know what I find. Pretty little white rock. Maybe some sort of bone. Okay, so what are we looking for? It's my glass. You're such a little kid. Sea glass. So what is that? That's called jade, is that right? No. What is it? It's just green sea glass. Oh, all right, so how do you see it? I don't even, hang on, I see something. Look, oh, I found two pieces. Oh look, three pieces. Oh my gosh, there's another one. After your eyes get focused, it's everywhere. Look, hon. Oh, that's fun! So you make jewelry out of it, right? Yeah, look, here's a clear one. Oh, wow. Clear sea glass. All right, find some gold nuggets. Basically, this is glass that's found its way into the ocean and the salt water softens it. So you know it's ready, almost cloudy. Yeah. And the edges are not sharp. pointy and sharp. Got it. So this sea glass seems to be invisible until you really start to look and just one swipe of your hand like this. And super fun activity. Just another day in the life, the wildlife and the great land with living by Alaska. Dutch Harbor style. What is that? Honey, you gotta see this. Oh my God, what is it? It moved. Don't touch it. <laughs> what is that? It's alive, it? whatever it is. <laughs> I have no idea. Show me your beach glass. Wow, look at the bag look at that newest got. piece I got. That's pretty. I don't know if you guys can see this in back of me. Right there is, I believe that's a harbor seal. And they're just very cool. Oh, he disappeared. They're quite shy, but they'll stick their little heads up and it looks like a big, you know, head of a big puppy dog. And they're super fun to see. They're always curious. They always pop their little heads up. If he shows up again, I'll do my best to catch him on camera for you. Dawn is way over there doing her thing. The sound of the ocean, the feel of the light breeze, the smell of the ocean makes it for um, absolutely wonderful experience. Very soothing, very relaxing. found something interesting that you guys might like to see. This is called, this is a type of kelp. Let's see how long it is. I think it's called bull kelp or bull kelp because of the big bulb. I'm not sure, maybe somebody who knows the answer could help me with this, but I'm told this is edible. Some of the native folks slice this up, clean it, cook it, and sometimes pickle it. I don't care for the taste. I've tried it a few times. Maybe I'll try again some other time, or if someone has a great recipe for this stuff, Please let me know. So my wife's over there doing what she loves best, which is beach combing, and I think she's found some hermit crabs and a starfish, and she wants to bring these home as pets, and I keep telling her, you can't do that. They'll stink. She's such a child. What is that? It's a baby starfish. <laughs> Look at that little tiny. Look at him. <laughs> you can't bring it home, honey. Goodness. <laughs> I think those are hermit crabs, right? In the shells? 
I put them back so they could live okay. another day. That's good. Where are you going to put the little baby starfish? I want to take him home. No, you can't take him home. But I'm going to put him back. Okay, it's very sweet of you. She's got, I'm telling you what's going to happen, folks, is she's going to fill her pockets with things that she doesn't want me to know she has from this beach. And then when she gets home, she's going to pull all the stuff out of her pockets like it was an accident and she don't know where it came from. Two bunker, Dutch Harbor, Alaska. <laughs> How's this for an afternoon? Hello from Dutch Harbor. This is what it looks like in a beautiful July day in the summer in Dutch Harbor, Alaska. What a gorgeous place this is. How about that for a panorama and a backdrop? Appetizers? <laughs> king crab. Alaskan king crab. Beautiful potato wedge. I mean, uh, wedge beautiful salad. iceberg wedge salad. What's that, love? Bone-in pork chop. Bone-in pork chop. And bone-in ribeye. This is how it's done in Dutch. Yes. What's next? What is this? Cherry whiskey cheesecake. Cherry whiskey cheesecake at the Grand Aleutian, Dutch Harbor, Alaska. And mine is red velvet dessert at the Grand Aleutian in Dutch Harbor, Alaska. This is the Museum of the Aleutians. Beautiful museum, very historic, about the Aleutian Islands in the remote part, way out in the Pacific Ocean, Northern Pacific Ocean in Alaska. Boss lady's waiting for us to go inside. So if you're curious, we thought we were in Dutch Harbor. This is the city of Unalaska. Unalaska and Dutch Harbor are just separated by a little tiny channel. The two islands are right next to each other. So it's essentially considered one town, but this is the city of Unalaska. Really nice plaque outside of the Museum of the Aleutians Island talking about the rare habitat, all of the delicate and wild and rare flowers and growth that go on in this area. If someone became sick, another person would go out and look for medicine. They knew where the plants grew. They knew how to fix someone when a burn had happened or when a cut was infested. Very interesting. They, they used animals for many things. The people ate the meat, made waterproof clothing from the intestines, and used the fat to light their lamps. They used the skin to cover their ikyan, which is this boat, igyaks. It was made of wood frame covered with sea lion and seal hides. Yes. Absolutely incredible. This is a fantastic model, an Aleutian igyaks also known as a kayak to us. The model here, an anorak or a jacket made of the intestines of seals and walruses and other wildlife that live in this area. It's absolutely fascinating to see. This is not a reproduction. This is a real thing that they made and they preserved. And now it's in this museum. Lessons come from the birch wood. It's a wild life in the gray lakes. The husband and wife on the homestead. There's nothing like living in this wild life. It's a wild life. It's a wild life. Begins where the road ends, no bad weather, just bad clothing, chickens from the ocean, 
Bad weather, just bad clothing? There's no bad weather, just bad clothing. Where have I heard that before? Uh huh. Those are cute. That is a cool photo. I like that. You ready? Yeah. Cool. Until you die. Perfect. So very blessed that you all come along with us as we hunt, we harvest, we homestead, and we adventure our way through a wildlife in this great land. Now here's a video I think you'll really like. Join me there. Let's go.